on Thanksgiving or just fall inspired makeup. Um, I did a Thanksgiving look the first year I was on YouTube, but then I didn't do one last year. So I've been seeing several uh, this month. I thought it might be kind of fun to do a Thanksgiving makeup tutorial. And this is definitely something that I would wear on Thanksgiving or really any other day of the year. Did something a little different. I really hope you like it. And if you want to see it, then just keep watching. To start off this look, I'm going to prime my lids using the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. Next, I'm going to use a cream base, and I've got a Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk. Just take any burgundy cranberry type cream shadow, and I'm just going to apply that all across the lid. I'm also going to apply that just under the lower lash line. So I'm going to use my Lorac Pro Palette again, and I'm going to start out with kind of a stiff blending brush, and I'm going to go into this matte brown shade called Sable. I'm just going to pat that on the outer corner. And once I have the color laid down, I'm just going to start to blend it. And I'm just staying in the outer corner. I'm going up to the crease, but I'm not going in. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit more and I'm going to go right in the inner corner now and do the exact same thing and just blend that color right in the inner corner. Okay, so I've left a space right in the center of my lid. And what I'm going to put there is this shade here. It's called Garnet. And this is a really pretty shimmery cranberry color. And I'm going to apply that with a really stiff flat brush. And I'm just going to pat that right on the center and blend it over into the brown on both sides. This is going to give a really pretty shimmery pop and it also makes your eyes look a little bit larger too. I'm going to go back and kind of touch up the brown a little bit. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush with no shadow on it and I'm just going to run that over the edge of those colors and it's going to blend out really nicely as you can see right there. If you want, you can take some of this other matte shade called Taupe. It's just a little bit of a lighter brown and apply that. This is optional. You don't have to. You don't have a whole lot of space between your lash line and your brow. You can just skip that step. And with that same brush, I'm going to go into the light pink. It's a matte shade. And I'm going to use that to highlight under the brow. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my eyeshadow brush and go back to the garnet. And I'm just going to smudge this right along the lower lash line. And it's really going to cling to that base we put down and be really vibrant. And then if you want, you can go back into the sable and put that just on the outer part. And then with my pinky, I'm going to go into this really shimmery um, shade here called Nude. And I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line. I'm not really going to go much into the tear duct because we actually want that to be dark for once. I'm going to take my NYX slide on pencil in black and line the waterline. I'm going to tight line just a little bit. Then I'm going to line the upper lash line. The only reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to apply some false lashes. And they need kind of like a line to sit on, you know. There we go. So the lashes I'm going to apply are the uh, Salon Perfect Demis. So I'm going to put these on, do my mascara, and I'll come right back. Okay, so to finish up the rest of the face, in my opinion, if you were going to do kind of dark, smoky eyes like this, I feel like it's really important to wear some bronzer on your face. It's because it can kind of wash you out, and I think bronzer just brings that dimension and color back to your face. So the one that I use today is actually from e.l.f. and it is one of their baked bronzers and this is called Maui. I just took it on a fluffy brush and went right in the hollows of my cheeks, up around the temples, my jawline, and also used it on the sides of my nose. And then I wanted kind of a subtle blush, so I used one of the e.l.f. baked blushes and this one is in Rich Rose. And this is actually a really pretty color. And I used, no, I used this brush for that. 
just went right on the cheekbones right here like that and then for a highlight I use another elf product <laughs> and it's from the studio line and it is called got a glow and it's a shimmery um, light bronzer or highlighter but it has like a golden glow type thing and I just took that right there went down the center of my nose and on the cupid's bow I used one of my favorite lip liners of all time. It's from Jordana. Super cheap from the drugstore and it's called Tawny. And it's pretty much the same color as your lips, just a little bit darker and it gives them a little bit of definition. Then I went right over that with this lip gloss by NYX. And it's one of the first ones I ever got and it's still one of my favorites. It's called Smoky Look. And it actually looks darker in here than what it really is, but it's just like a peachy nude kind of color. So I like it because it doesn't completely erase your lips, but it doesn't compete with your eyes either. I really hope you guys like the look. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Have a great Thanksgiving and a great fall, and I'll talk to you later.